So hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Misleading Charts. In today's edition we're going to talk about logarithmic scales. And in particular we're going to talk about a chart that the government of Chile chose to show in order to prove that the number of vaccinations per 100 inhabitants in Chile had not decreased. And you can see the chart in there. If you just look at the line without actually thinking what's in there, you can see there is a slight decrease, but not very much, which is was basically what they tried to prove. Now, a lot of people got really upset about this chart because it is meant to mislead. In which way is it misleading? Well, if you pay attention and you look at the chart, at the y-axis, you'll see that it's a logarithmic scale. And logarithmic scales are actually well known for smoothing data points, right? So I do have a video talking about logarithmic scales where I explain in detail what they are and when they are normally used. And it will explain this in, in more detail. So go and check that out. I'll publish the link down below. But here, what is basically doing, using the logarithmic scale, it actually smooths the data. Let me show you how it actually looks. So now you have in front of you the exam, exact same data, but this is using a logarithmic scale. This is using a rolling seven-day average. The reason why you're using rolling seven-day is also to smooth the data, but just seven-day period, right? Because if you have a day that you had a lot of vaccinations and another day you didn't, for example, weekends, this will smooth it out. And you can see in this chart, which is the exact same period, 25th of December to April 20th, you can see it here, that the number of vaccinations per 100 people in Chile is in fact decreasing. And you can hide that using a logarithm scale. So this is actually quite clever. I mean, you have to know what you're doing in order to produce this chart. Not everybody will think of a logarithm scale to deceive. <laughs> That's all really, really clever. But be careful. Every time you see a logarithm scale, if you're not very familiar with them, don't trust the data. Go and see where you can actually find the actual numbers or read more about logarithmic charts to see has it been used appropriate. Is this a chart where logarithmic scales should have been used or not? Okay. Okay, so on our next series, what we're going to do is actually talk about the source. It's such an important thing with showing or trying to understand if a chart is meant to mislead, especially depending on who is telling the story, right? So we will revisit some of the charts. We will talk about the source. We will talk about the person or the organization behind the claim to see if there could be any intention or any bias built into that. And then how we can think about sources in general. I really recommend you to go through the charts again and do that exercise yourself because it is quite an interesting thought anyhow. And it's not an easy one though. We will discuss that next week, but let's talk about source. I will see you again next week with another misleading charts. Until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.